so good morning to all my amazing choosing one up there i have something new for us this morning understand me you know you are not alone that is the topic you are not what alone you know i know sometimes many of us feel as if no one care about us no one wants to support us no one really you know pity have pity on us just because of the circumstances or because of one thing to another that we are going through in life it looks like everyone around us abandon us so the issue here is this you are not alone believe me no matter who have left you long time ago no matter who promised and failed no matter who disappoint you yes i know it's very very hard and sad when someone you put your hope on it come to a point where they decide to do it to hurt you by not fulfilling what they have promised you you understand me i know it's hurt but you are not alone you are not alone that's how that's what happened to joseph the brothers of joseph joseph crossed them that is the reason why he decided to go with them he believed in them he believed that they are with him but not knowing that they are really against him against his sources so he he believed within himself that hey, no matter what happened that blood is thicker than water that they will always be with him not knowing that secretly that all of them have gang up against him so what am i trying to say is this you are not alone in this world we are god is automatically what with you let the whole world abandon you reject you he said he will never abandon you that's why we do used to sing that song he will never abandon me he will never abandon me because you are what the apple of his own eyes no matter the circumstances or the problem or the categories the types of life you are living god is always available in 24 hours to assist you so he will never abandon you nor reject you it doesn't matter how many people who do it who disappoint you but god will never abandon you yes i know that he, he sometimes it comes to a point where you look at your right you look at your left you look at your front you look at your back you look at all what all angles of your life no help no one to assist you you think what will i do in order for me to get to where i am dreaming to become and you look at people who promised you before all of them have hurt you and you come to a point you look at your past and you you imagine sometimes you imagine that your past is more better than your present but listen to me there is a reason why everything occur there is a purpose why everything happen something does not just happen for happening sake so if anyone have abandoned you if someone out there reject you believe me someone more better than them will accept you that is god for you i'm not here to tell you that if your mother your father abandoned you that means the, their hope is gone if your brothers and your sister disappoint you that means their hope is gone if no one care about you that means their hope is gone but remember say put all ye your trust in him for he will do what he will deliver you david said if my my, my what if it is my friends my, my you know if it is my enemy that did this to me if it is those whom i really know that them that they don't love me if they are the one who really done this to me i will have known but it is those whom i eat with drink with do things with laugh with celebrate with who sit right in my throne within me my companion that the one who can go up in order for them to destroy me that's why jesus said the word <laughs> he said to his disciples someone who eat with us who have been around us for so long that is the same person who had what who have the mind to sow 
me out. So, I don't know who have betrayed you, but believe me, you are not alone. I don't know who disappoint you. Believe me, you are not alone. You, 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 you don't need to quit your dream. Hey, God. You know, sometimes when I hear people saying, I'm tired of this life, I feel what? I feel bad within myself. If I see people saying, the world we are living, I'm tired. I, 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 I can't continue this life like this. I, 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 I can't do it. I'm just tired. I feel bad within myself. Why? Because if God perventure allow you to see how, how great and what he has prepared ahead of that storm you are passing through, you will even ask God to, do, to put more to that storm. Because the greater the storm, the greater the blessing ahead of it so you need to understand one thing it does not matter how many people who rejected you who abandoned you who forsake you what matter is who is with you god is always available with you <laughs> he said even if your what your mother abandoned you as a sucking child even if they just give birth to you and your mother your father decide to abandon you he said he will stand for you that's what my mom tell me one day so she went to a place, a, a near place, I mean, a town that close to our village to go and sell wood. Because my mom is a businessman, a businesswoman. So she decided to go and sell wood or crow, you know, all those things in the morning. So on getting to that place near uh, college, college of education. So he said there was a, what, a, a big what does been. So suddenly she and one lady was there. And they hear a sound of what? Of a, 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 a small, a passing baby boy that they just give birth. Not up to 30 minutes, about one hour. And the lady is the first, be the best person that do that reach that place to open up before my mom do it, decide to join her. Tell me now, as they see that child, will that child not survive? That is how God is telling you, my brothers and sisters, no matter who abandoned you, reject you, forsake you, no matter who come into your life for the aim of using you and dumb you, that is what I have passed through. I'm not here to tell you that I'm successful, but all glory be to God that I'm breathing. So what am I trying to say is this, no matter who abandoned you, reject you, hoping that you can't do without them, when God said it is done it is done <laughs> let the world let the whole world abandon you reject you but if god said that that what that rejection is about to turn it at that moment he will so that is the reason why you need not to feel as if you are alone yes i see a lot of people trying to take their life just because of people who disappoint them. I see a lot of ladies, a lot of men who decide to give up upon their dream just because of one situation to another, just because of people whom they believe and they decide to hurt them with their kindness and their goodness. But listen to me, there's a blessing ahead of every storm that you are going through. God will not allow you to pass through, to pass pain that is greater than you. This is his word. He said, my word will not come back to me, back to me until I accomplish the purpose why it is being word given. So no matter what you are going through, no matter what the circumstances around you, no matter the problem, the difficulties around you, God is always available to save you. So he said, I will deliver you from an enemy and defend you from those who rise up against you. So if there is anyone around you who have made up their mind just to do it, to waste your years, listing and listing good. The Bible said in the book of Jewel, he said he will restore the years that the can't and worms and caterpillar have destroyed. What else do you want me to say, brothers? There is something ahead of every storm you are passing through. If anyone have looked down on you, listen, the Bible make me to understand. David said, I look up to God. Where cometh my helper? My help come from the Lord who have made heaven and earth. He is the rock to my standard. He is the king of all kings. The I am that I am. He said, I caught them in the days of my trouble. He answered me. He did not do what he asked me to wait. He answered me spe as speedily as the wind. So what else? No matter who leave you, don't feel as if you are alone. <laughs> because the Bible said, as man thinks, so he is. 
feel as if you are sitting with kings and queens. <laughs> My daddy used to tell me what he said when you are around people who are what when you are around people whom you notice that there are kings and queens, you don't act like kings and queens, you act like a slave. That they, they will be the one that will call you king. Come. You know what I'm saying? Let me explain, you know. Let, let me go deeply to that one. You know, when I was at home, my dad used to tell me what he said. When you are in a group of what people who are that old men, don't act at you as if you are intelligent. You know what I'm saying? Act as if you know nothing. Then with their own understanding, they will be the one that will figure out and call you a wise man. Then if you act as a wise man in the presence of those who are wise, they will call you a foolish man. So that's why you need not to feel as if you are okay. You are as, as if you are alone, but feel as if you are with God. Because the God, people may abandon you because they don't know where you belong. People may reject you because they don't understand the word the, the place you come from, people may look at you and say it is over because they don't understand that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That we are in the world, but we are, we are not of this world. So if people reject you for the sake of not knowing where you come from, tell them I sit with my king, my author, the finisher of my faith. So if you reject me, he will surely do what? Assert me. You go say he will surely do what? assert me so that is why if, even if they reject you act as if you are sitting with king and queen i'm not saying you should be proud you should be rude but when they make you feel as if you're nobody just keep leave them leave them they will come to understand that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world so if people make you to feel as if without them you can't leave just tell them one word my father is greater than the earth that I'm living. <laughs> or if you don't want to speak much, as they said, if, if some of them start to say, eh, you can't do with others, just judge them. Watch and see what my God is capable of doing. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Just tell them that word. Watch and see what my God is capable of doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you are not alone in this world. Whether you are fatherless, you are motherless, you are up there, no matter whom you are, you are not alone in this world. Believe me, there is, there is a God who has already prepared to do or to secure and promote every of your doing. Let the whole earth be against you. Let heaven and earth be against you. Let all human be against you because of whom you are. But God... When he said it is your turn, no man can put us under. Remember, blessed and may God bless you. In Jesus' name, I love you all. Remember, blessed.